Hi, it's Kim Wilkins, aka Tech Kim, and I'm really excited to bring this connected learning experiment uh, into fruition next week. Uh, it's Women Learning Tech, and we're going to create a website. And I was inspired by other organizations like Ladies Learning Code, Girl Development, and Skill Crush, who are really trying to bring more technology uh, learning and teaching to women and girls. And I am very interested in getting girls especially interested in technology and computer science as possibilities uh, for their futures. And also want more women to be involved as well. And so I was looking for a way to bring that to my community in Charlottesville and actually going to be teaching this course live and local at a public school um, adult ed program next week. And so I thought, well, while I'm creating all this material, I'd like to share it online as well. I've been uh, participated in several MOOCs, which are massive online open courses, and they've been fascinating experiences, and I've learned a lot from them, but they've also been kind of frustrating because they are so massive and that's really um, hard to keep up or connect with other like-minded folks. So I've also participated recently in a connected learning experience, and I really appreciated that, um, getting more connected with a smaller group of folks and kind of going along the assignments together. So I thought that would, might be a great opportunity for this course. And so there are, I'll just quickly go here and show you, you know, what is connected learning. So it's really, you're pursuing your passion, uh, but in order to pursue that, you need to learn something. And there are other people that are learning that same thing to pursue, pursue their passions. And so it's just uh, a way to learn together. Uh, you're connecting with others, you're doing things, you're trying things out with the assignments, and then you're sharing um, what you've done and seeing what other people are doing. I also like the idea that connected learning increases knowledge access and voice for everybody. So not just for the participants, obviously they're getting more out of it, but because participants are sharing their work back, even people who are not actively involved can come back later and see uh, this activity and see and, and get a lot out of it. So I think it's um, sort of paying it for it as well, which I like a lot. Uh, again, with this experience, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. So nobody's grading you. Nobody's going to be following up and finding out, you know, where are your assignments? Um, what we have, what I have are just uh, five weeks worth of sessions with uh, suggested activities. And then it's up to you to follow up with them. Uh, there are several ways to get involved. Uh, again, if you are not comfortable uh, getting into the connected part, but just want to do the learning part, you're welcome to just follow along. But there's a couple of communities. One is through Education Revolution, and this is a private group, so everything that's posted is only uh, available to the participants of the group. So if you're more comfortable in that environment, that might be a way to go. There's also a Google Plus group, which is uh, a community that is everything that's on it, published on it, will be public. Uh, you still have to get permission to be part of the group, but then once you're in the group, um, anything you publish is going to be more public. So if you uh, prefer that style of interacting on the internet, then that might be a place for you. And then I'm also looking for mentors. Uh, this is not just all about me knowing everything and passing it on because I really don't. Um, I am comfortable in the web space. And in fact, I wanted to show the, the reason I got into web development is and at one point when I was at IBM, I was a publications manager. And it turned out that all the text and the way it was formatted um, was actually done with tags. And those tags uh, then turned into uh, the basis for HTML. So I really had a leg up um, in the web space because uh, before there was internet, there were tags for publications and I already knew them. So I feel very comfortable with that. Uh, I'm going to be learning some stuff along with you, especially when we get to uh, cascading style sheets and JavaScript. So I'm hoping there are some other experts out there. And, and one of the things about a connected learning experience is that um, hopefully we will be able to share knowledge together. So my plan is I will post on Mondays um, a video t tutorial. So basically it'll go through the tools that I'll be sharing and the assignments that I'm suggesting that you do uh, so that you're, you, you'll have a, a guide to do that. And then Tuesday I actually teach the course live and local. And so then Wednesday I'll probably follow up with my own sharing my own thoughts about how that went, what went well, what were the struggles, and be posting those as um, 
my sharing on both of the groups. And there's also a tag. Now, I'm not very great with tags, so it's just a women learning tech hashtag, which is quite long, but uh, there you go. Uh, anyway, if you're doing social media stuff, if you would use that tag to be sharing. Um, and I think that is about it for now. If you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, I have information, my contact information here, plus you can go to about me and connect to me that way. And I really look forward to our time together over the next five weeks. Bye-bye.